Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here. Um, today is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be explaining something that is very personal to me and something that's still going on in my life and is something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. And I think that by sharing my story um, will help a lot of people that are watching this video, especially those who have been harassed, who have been targeted, who have been bullied, cyberbullied, you name it. If you've been picked on before and you felt something, this video is for you. The purpose of this video isn't to call anyone out, it's not to name names, it's not to start drama, it's not to provoke anything that's unwanted. The purpose is to share my story and what I think I've learned from all of this and hopefully in sharing my experience it encourages you to share yours with others, especially parents, family, friends, the school if necessary, whatever it may be. Hopefully this video encourages you to stand up for what's right, stand up for what you believe in and to take action for what you think should be done. So I guess you could say it started in 2016 in the beginning of the year where I found out that a couple of kids from my schools had been watching my videos Okay, nothing wrong there um, But instead of just watching them, they've been mocking them. They've been pointing fingers. They've been laughing They've been cackling and all while doing that They've been recording themselves doing so and posting it publicly on their snapchat stories on their Instagram Facebook like wherever you name it. They were posting it and At first when I saw these kids doing this I wondered okay a who are these people? Like, I know their names, but I don't know, like, who they are in relation to, like, my life. I've never spoken to these people before. B, why, why was my face on the TV screen behind them? And C, just what prompted them to record themselves and do this? So the next morning when I saw this happen, I confronted one of them. And I asked all these questions, and of course I got virtually no answers. Um, not even really an apology, really. Um, just kind of like the shrug of a shoulder and kind of whatever. And to that I said, please tell your friends to lay off. Um, I don't know what I can say about this, but the next time it happens, I'm going to guidance. So that was my first warning. And I think it's really important to know that it's good to be confrontational, but it's also good to know your place. So I don't think it would have been good if I had gone and started screaming at these kids, if I started cursing them out, or if I started doing any of those things. Because I personally, I'm not that kind of person to begin with, but throughout this entire process, it could have been so easy for me to just, you know, lose it. And, and sure enough, this didn't stop. So a few weeks following that, I get a comment from another one of these people in the group. Um, asking me a very irrelevant and unnecessary question. Again, next morning I went up to them and I said, please stop. I don't know why you're doing this. I don't know why you're targeting me, but just leave me alone because the next time I actually will go to guidance. So that was my second warning. And of course, I didn't really get a response. I just kind of got like the shrug of a shoulder and uh, what can you do kind of face. And that was that. And I thought I solved it. I really did. Until I found out last week on my birthday, May 6th, um, that it actually hadn't stopped. And it actually escalated to a point where it was actually kind of ridiculous. Not only were these kids, you know, just posting pictures of them watching watching videos of me and you know just whatever they were doing but they were actually recording themselves and you know taking videos of them doing this in big group hangouts at this point not even just you know like three four people but now it was like six seven people eight people which I know doesn't seem like a lot when you look at it in retrospect but at the time and it still is a lot of people to me considering that I know these people that these are the people that are in my school and in my class so as I was just pacing around my room and as I started to get more and more messages sent to me of different videos and different screenshots and all these different things of these kids just screaming insane things these kids were cursing me out. They were saying I was disgusting, saying that, you know, I I deserve to be rescinded from these schools, like saying all these things that have absolutely no origin. Like, it's not like I've ever done anything to these people. And trust me, if I had said something or I've done something, I would have stated it early in the video. I'm a pretty honest person and I can guarantee you that I've done absolutely nothing to these people in my life. And later at night, it was around 11.30 and I was just feeling really frustrated because I was like, okay, so I'm still dealing with the same group of people, what do I do? But it turns out I was wrong because it wasn't just the same group of people that we started out with, but instead these people influenced their friends and their friends of friends to, you know, do the same thing. So I was just on my Snapchat and I found someone's story of a group hangout again going on. I thought, okay, like nothing out of the norm going on here, just a high school party. So I was just sitting there in my room and I was like, okay, so these kids are at a party, would like, okay. Cool. But then I saw that, again, another video of mine was playing and this time these kids were screaming at the top of their lungs. They were pounding their chests like gorillas. They were doing absolutely everything that 
they could think of really like it wasn't like it just wasn't there wasn't a reason to it they were just kind of doing it and on because i was just feeling so confused and desperate and wondering why why this was going on why these kids were doing this to me and it, i just got this really lame excuse saying something about the music playing in the background when really it had like virtually nothing to do with the music in the background and it just kind of got worse and worse from there because I started to find out all these other things um, and all these other things these kids did making fun of me making fun of the school I was going to um, you know the school I'm going to in the next four years just finding out all these different things that per that's just they hurt in all honesty they did hurt at first I tried to act like you know like it wasn't bothering me it's whatever I don't know these kids so who am I to say anything but it did hurt. It, it hurt to sit on my 18th birthday in my room at half past midnight just sitting there crying, wondering what I did to deserve this and what the point of all of it even was. And it turns out, you know, there wasn't anything that I did and this was just happening just because. So Monday I went to my school with my family. I went to guidance, I went to the dean, I spoke to the principal. I did a number of different things. I reached out to as many people as I could to try to stop this because I figured, hey, if I, if me telling them to stop isn't enough, then maybe it's gonna have to take the principal to do it. And today I even spoke to a few of them in person and I asked, I said, I asked every question that I could think of from why to how to when did this all begin to just stop, just asking like, please tell your friends to stop, please just stop. That's all I wanted was for all to stop. Um, did I get a, a bunch of apology letters? Sure I did, but what does an apology letter mean to me when I spent months and weeks just wondering what what is going on and what I did to deserve this? Anyone and everyone that's been dealing with things like similar to my situation, don't keep this all bottled up. Please, please do yourself a favor and tell your family, tell your friends, tell people that you trust and people that you know will do everything in their power to back you up and support you 100% and get rid of the people in your life that you don't think will do that for you. So I guess my biggest advice could be just immerse yourself in any activity that you love to do and don't let someone make fun of you just because you're different. Just because I have a YouTube channel, just because you know I'm not your average 18 year old teen here, doesn't give you or it doesn't give anyone the right to make fun of me for that and same thing applies to you even if you don't have a YouTube channel, even if you do something that's just remotely out of the norm don't let someone make fun of you for that passion especially if it's something that you love doing whether it be playing soccer whether it be painting whether it be drawing whether it be singing writing whatever it may be do not let anyone make fun of you or embarrass you or make you feel shameful because no one has the right to make you feel inferior without your consent and that's it for today's video again i hope you all learned something from this hopefully those of you who have unfortunately been affected by things like this like such as bullying targeting cyberbullying whatever it may be hopefully you understand that it's okay to not feel okay and that it's more than okay to go to and speak to someone about this especially if you're not feeling like yourself especially if you feel like the universe is against you because there's been a number of times where i felt like i was just a one person army handling this all on my own and that everything was against me i hope to see you guys in my next video thank you so much for listening to my story